A freedom of information request by the BBC has found that older workers are less likely to get jobs at the UK Treasury Department compared with younger people. We're joined now by Eleanor Mills, who's a founder of the website Noon, which helps women with the transition into midlife. Eleanor, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. To what extent yeah. is it women as opposed to men who are older, maybe in their 50s, who are struggling when it comes to recruitment? I think... I think everyone in midlife is struggling when it comes to recruitment, largely because of the algorithms which um, often now dictate who gets through to be interviewed. And what I see from my noon uh, community of women in midlife, but also I talk to a lot of people in this space, is that um, lots of, well, I think there's a new, new research shows that over half of over 50s really want to get back into the job market. But when they apply, their applications get knocked out by the computer algorithm before they even get through to a point where they might be interviewed. And then on top of that, they face really ageist attitudes um, from recruiters and from companies uh, when they do get through. And this is a real problem because in by 2025, over half of the workforce in the US will be over 50. We've got a huge skills shortage. We've got Jeremy Hunt saying he wants over 50s to get back to work. So there's a big problem with the rhetoric not matching up to the reality on the ground when over 50s to, do apply for jobs. And your story today about the Treasury's own numbers of uh, over 50s being so low and them getting knocked out in the interview process, etc., I think is very typical of what's going on across the country, despite Jeremy Hunt's good intentions. How much of this, though, is driven by employers wanting staff who don't cost them so much rather than those who've got tons of experience? <laughs> well, there probably is a bit of that. We've seen a big... Um, exodus from the workforce over the pandemic of the kind of 50 pluses and I think for lots of people they were made redundant because they were expensive but it is possible for companies to have conversations with older workers saying you know either you're going to get made redundant or could we talk about maybe more flexibility or a different kind of job and what we see in our research for noon.org.uk which is the platform I run is that flexibility is incredibly important to the over 50s uh, for the women we surveyed it's 16 times more important than traditional status and i don't think companies have really quite wised up to the fact that older workers are quite happy to have a conversation around kind of you know pay or hours they really want their job to fit around their life and the other thing that's really important to them is meaning and purpose and doing something that feels kind of valuable and worthwhile a lot of the women that I see who have left their jobs have just got to a point where they, they just don't want to play that kind of corporate game anymore. They want to do something which is more in line with their values. So given that these algorithms may be the, the, the first barrier um, causing this um, discrimination, how can you get around it if you're an applicant in your 50s? Well, I think at the moment it's really difficult. I mean, I remember applying for a few jobs myself after I left. I, I was a newspaper executive for a long time, and I left, and I couldn't get through the algorithm at all. I couldn't get, um, I couldn't get interviewed. I couldn't get through it. I think if you go to specific headhunters, um, then they can make a kind of case for you on a more individualised basis. And there are certain companies now. There's some people called Fifty Five Redefined who are doing a system about um, age-friendly employers. So this month, their age-friendly employer is Barclays, who are actually actively recruiting people over 50. So there's beginning to be a movement with um, more switched-on employers realising that if they're going to recruit the over 50s, they need to kind of change their practices. So hopefully that's a movement which will really grow, because the, the UK PLC can't afford for all these experienced 50-somethings not to be working. And the way that the demographics are going, because there's such a kind of um, increase in the number of older people, and because of the pension situation means we're all going to have to work till we're at least like 67, 68, that's difficult if the algorithms are knocking you out when you try and apply for a job um, over 50. So then we really need the Chancellor's rhetoric to be backed up by employee recruiting practice. No wonder we fib about our age, eh? Eleanor Mills <laughs> from noon.org.uk, thank you.